On this activity, we're gonna show you how to do a rolling rally with targets. It is very important that the little ones have a reference or where they need to send the ball. That's why we're using these large cones. And she has to roll the ball in between all of the cones. The same way, I'm gonna trap the ball, I'm gonna turn sideways, and I'm gonna roll it on the ground. This is the beginning stages of having them understand how this game is played. Like, you know, you gotta hit the ball back and forth with each other, okay? So Emma, let's put the ball on the ground. And now you're gonna roll it towards me through the targets, okay? All right, that's very good. Now I'm gonna trap the ball. I'm gonna turn sideways. This part is very important that they do it slowly or that they actually do it. Most of the kids are gonna be tempted to just swing and hit the ball back, okay? So you gotta have them turn sideways to the ball and roll back to the partner, okay? Trap it. Very good, set up sideways and roll the ball oh no we went outside the target and that's okay it's part of a game you can also do it on the back and side with two hands and roll okay emma try to get a little bit lower on your on your knees and roll the ball just like if you were for a forehand all right good job oh no it went it went sideways again come on go roll the ball Mm-hmm, go. Oh. Nice job, almost, almost. Oh, so close, okay. Emma, are you aiming for the cones or are you aiming in between the cones? Oh, in between the cones, okay, well, we gotta improve that accuracy, okay? It is, oh, it's tough, all right. So, for us it's, you know, not that difficult, but for a four or five year old, it's gonna be, you know, challenging, definitely, okay? So just keep practicing because this is the best way to have them understand that they need to first set up their body and control their swing as they're rolling, okay? If you can make it a challenge, maybe 10 times in a row, back and forward, and then get a reward, that's perfect, all right? Great job, Emma, okay? Let's move on to the next activity. For this next activity, we're gonna use balloons. Balloons are amazing for little ones because they can really have a lot of fun and a lot of good purposes for what they need to develop, okay? In this case, we're gonna be doing balloon taps. So Emma, check it out. We're gonna use the palm of our hand going up, okay? And as we walk to the other side, we're gonna tap the balloon with the hand. Are you ready? Yeah. It looks like this. Come on, go with me. All right, just with the palm of the hand up, okay? This exercise for a four or five year old, it's gonna be very challenging. Obviously, I'm a very well-developed red baller, as well as Emma. <laughs> you were a red baller. What do you mean I'm not a red baller? I can be a red baller. You don't think so? <laughs> now we're gonna go back with the palm of our hands facing forward and we're gonna give just little high fives to the ball without letting it drop on the ground. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. This one is even more challenging because you gotta move as the balloon gets away from you. Can I tell something? Yeah, tell me something. You can you can play with, with the balloons with the same with these and these to not let it. Don't let, let, it, let it, it touch it, the ground. Yes. Yeah. The floor is lava. For oh, the, balloons. the floor is lava for the balloons. That is right. That is absolutely right. Okay. Um, next up, we're gonna have tapping over our head. So for this one, we're only gonna need one balloon, and we call this one balloon tennis, okay? So Emma, can you get a little bit closer, please? And we're gonna leave one on the ground. Yeah, the idea is to tap the balloon over our head. So can you get a little bit closer to me? All right, so I'm gonna go to kind of like her same height, and we're gonna tap the balloon up, tap the balloon up, tap it up, tap it up, tap it up. Oh, this is where it gets fun. Oh yeah, come on, bring it back to me. You gotta tap it above your head, okay? So what you're really practicing here, it's tracking skills, coordination, and obviously for tennis purposes, we're thinking about net game, like volleys. These will be the beginning stages of a volley and teaching your little one how to just be soft with their hands, okay? Also tracking an object above their head for a four or five year old where they're still not very good at balance, you know, it can get challenging and that's what they need to learn. So once again, balloons are an amazing tool to have around if you wanna just develop some skills. Okay, let's move on to the next activity. Yeah. 
On this activity now we're going to practice ball tossing, okay? So these are the beginning stages for the serve. We're going to need to uh, set the foundations for the toss in tennis. This exercise, this movement, it's very difficult for players of any level, any age, because you're going to be using your non-dominant hand. Um, so teaching your four, five, six year old how to do this is going to be very challenging. So I come up with some solutions for us. Uh, number one, we're just going to use the very simple um, beginning part, okay? So we're just going to go, Emma, I need you to use your left hand, not your right hand, your left hand. I want you to toss and catch with two hands. Can you do that? Very good. Um, just to remind you, the red ball is on a large size ball. So for a little one to catch it with just one hand is gonna be very, very difficult. If you have regular tennis balls or something smaller, maybe even a bean bag will help. And the idea is that they toss above their head and then they catch the object, okay? Now, to help them control the height, um, that's very important because most of the kids get excited and they're gonna toss the ball super high and that's when it gets out of control. You are gonna use references. So for example, in this case, hmm, what was that? Or even this. Or yeah, they're gonna lose control and toss it completely behind them, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna have a hula hoop right above her head and I'm just gonna, you know, consider that she's about maybe twice as higher sir that's where i'm going to put it on okay now emma i want you to toss the ball through the hula hoop and make it uh, come back through the hula hoop with your left hand okay can you try that yeah just like that okay good at this point they don't have to catch it but they have to be able to do the exercise just like she's doing okay so this helps them with a reference of you know how to how to toss the ball okay now Obviously, doing this for, you know, five, ten minutes is going to be exhausting for you. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I created this little contraption here. Um, it's just, you've seen it, you're going to see it uh, more often. It's just made out of, you know, PVC piping. And it has a little ring you up here. It, you find it in... Menards? Yeah. You find it at Menards, exactly. But not the hula hoop. Not the whole hoop. That thing is come from, from the equipment that we have here, okay? So you can use an old racket, just take out the strings. Something that reminds them of a hoop. If you have a basketball hoop at home, that will be even perfect. Um, something like that, okay? So the idea is that they can just toss through and catch out. Toss through and catch out. We don't want them shooting hoops like this. We want them just to go from under and catching, okay? Can you try a couple? Yep. All right. Sometimes these exercises that are very challenging for them, they turn to be a lot of fun. So um, for us adults, we're going to be like, oh my God, this is the most boring thing. But sometimes it just happens that the challenge is what gets them going and it's fun. So if they can practice this five minutes every day, it's perfect. Okay. You don't need to be on this thing for hours and hours. Okay. So go through maybe a little bit higher. There you go, okay? And that way, you're gonna have them practice with some good reference, the toss for the surf, okay? All right, let's move on to the next activity. You ready? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next one. On this activity, we're gonna show you how to do a throw surf, okay? So again, we're gonna break it down to the most simple part of it. So Emma, let's put your racket down on the ground. And I've put Emma on the hula hoop, so she just, keeps um, keeps keeps herself in the same spot over and over and over okay so here catch the ball and now from from that spot I want you to throw the ball I'm gonna catch it in the air so throw it high throw it up here okay ready go throw good so as you can see that will be the most uh, simple and beginner style type of throwing very good now we're gonna tweak it to make it more tennis related okay so Emma before we grab your racket, can you turn sideways and stand on the blue line like this? Very good. I like to have them stand sideways so they understand that the serve is a sideways position where they coil and uncoil later or like just twist. But in this case, that I know that is very technical and advanced. Okay, so stand sideways. We're gonna make it very simple. I want you to throw the ball and we're gonna use a little trick that we learned, right? Remember, tree, not yet tree apple and throw very good okay all right it's okay throw it to me again 
tree, apple, and throw. Very good, okay? Now, obviously, with your little one at home, you're gonna need uh, way more balls than this. <laughs> Emma has a pretty good, decent throw, and she can control it. Your four or five-year-old at home is probably not going to control it, but again, you're gonna be working probably on a basement or a way more um, enclosed space. Now, we're gonna give her the racket. Emma, hold your racket with your left hand, okay? All right, as you can see, she's gonna choke up the racket here. Exactly, leaving all this space down here for her hand later on, and you'll see why. Are you ready? Here, toss me this ball, and this is called a throw serve, okay? So, good, and now after you throw, can you go back to your ready position? Like that, and that's the reason why you need that extra space at the bottom, so that they, when they're finished with the throw, they can go back to ready position, okay? Throw me a couple more times, Emma. Ready, go. Yes, nice job with that ready position, I love it. Oh, it's okay, I have another ball here. As you can see at home, you're gonna need, you know, 10, 12 balls, having them around. And just practicing throwing with your little one is extremely important, not just for tennis, but for any, any sport that involves and requires a ball, okay? All right, one more time. Baseball, correct. Yeah, all right, ready? Volleyball as well. Good. If you get your kid to be a good thrower, you're gonna have them almost guaranteed that they're gonna have a good serve in the future. All right, great job, Emma. Okay, let's move on. Higher than that, okay. Good job. Even higher? Good job. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next activity.